Welcome back to Power Driven Diesel, guys. Today, we're gonna to be installing a fuel sump. All right, guys, so today, we're gonna to be installing a fuel sump. There's really not a lot to them. Um, they're pretty simple. It's really just a block of aluminum. We're gonna drill a hole in the tank, and we install this sump. It's a really straightforward deal. There's not a lot to it. Um, really anybody in their driveway can do this. The hardest part about this whole job is really uh, drilling a hole in the tank and draining the tank, especially if your wife totally fills it up before you go to empty it. I mean, that was stupid. We're gonna show you exactly how to do it step by step and we provide every tool to do it. So we're gonna be using a three inch hole saw um, and we're also gonna be using silicone and a five millimeter Allen. Those are the only tools you need to complete this job. Everything else um, is pretty straightforward. It's just fittings and putting hose on. So let's go get to work. As you can see guys, we've cleaned this surface off really, really good with brake clean. So you just wanna make sure that the area you're gonna be doing it is really, really clean because we're gonna be putting silicone on this or RTV and that's gonna be bonding to the tank. So the cleaner you can get it, the better. Alrighty guys, when you're putting your sump in, you wanna find the lowest part of the tank. For us, that is right here. Every tank sags a little bit different. Sometimes it's right where the factory sump is at and then sometimes it's in another place. We're gonna put it right here and we're gonna use a three inch hole saw to do that. You wanna find the lowest part and then you wanna put it in the center of the tank. So that's gonna be right here for us. Okay, come down, come down. Okay guys, as you can see, you're still gonna have residual fuel even after draining the tank. You do wanna have a bucket or something underneath. Let this drain out for a minute. Alrighty guys, so what you want to do is you want to place the drill right up solid in the hole and you're going to just go really nice and slow. I mean, you, you got to get some speed on the bit, but you want to make sure you make a nice perfect hole. So you don't want to oblong it at all. This is the, the most terrifying part of this job, but it's really, really simple. So go hit it. Alrighty, here, as you guys can see, we have all these little stringies hanging off. We're gonna come in here with a razor blade. Generally, I would grab a brand new one and you're just gonna clean off this surface and then also up here inside, you're gonna be cleaning off as well. So just take your time, clean up the hole really good. The better you do this, the better it'll seal. Alrighty guys, so next what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our sump and then we're gonna put some silicone on it and then we can do the fun stuff and we can put it all back together. We just want a pretty little bead just like that. this assembly there are two sides to it so we're going to put the flat side down with this groove into the tank so slip in just like this you just kind of want to center it in the hole and then we're going to take our assembly we're going to put one bolt up in it and you're going to go out and you're going to line up that one bolt that's in there is the really the trickiest part of this whole thing and just getting it to screw right up in. Get the bolt please. Thank you, sir. Okay, you know the impact. Ah, don't worry about it. Put it in by hand. 
Alrighty, Eric, we're gonna audio again. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna evenly put these up. And then for everybody that wants dark specs, these are gonna be right around 18 foot pounds. But it's really not a critical torque. You just wanna make sure there's none. Before you tighten it up though, you wanna make sure or this is the direction you want it because it's not going to move again. And then, if you want to have it nice, be nice, professional little install, run your finger along the edge, make it look like you ran a weld bead around it. And that's all it takes to install a sump. So, I mean, there's really not much to it. It's the first time that Reed's ever done it. Sorry, I forgot to introduce him. But first time that Reed's ever done a, a sump install. There's really not anything to it. And then from here, you just hook your fuel lines up to your lift pump and you're good to go.